Hey everyone, Joel Ants here, and today I'm outside So Ray, yes. So Ray Restaurant. This is a Korean barbecue spot. So by very popular request and demand, people are always like, have you ever tried Korean barbecue? Have you ever tried Japanese barbecue? And I have. I just never actually done a video of a Korean barbecue spot. So it's a long time overdue, guys. We're here in Santa Clara, California, basically San Jose. So I'm here and we're gonna do a Korean barbecue video. Um, I'm just going to go on in. We're gonna order all kinds of favorites, guys. They have these really cool items called like long ribs. Um, they have beef brisket. They have pork items so I'm just gonna like order a whole bunch of food guys let's give them a try I'm super pumped guys so Korean barbecue adventure let's head on in let's have some fun let's eat some food like I said I'm excited guys it smells good I can smell that roasted meat guys and just like oh yeah it's like it's traditional style so it's you order your items self cook at the table but yeah it's a lot of fun doing this style of eating I do like it it's really fun with friends it's a little hard to capture in a video sometimes, but this is gonna be a lot of fun. We're gonna make this work. And uh, let's go ahead and have some delicious, delicious Korean barbecue experience. And let's have fun, let's eat some food. All right, everyone, so here we are, we got seated. I'm so excited. So uh, not only do I have this giant tray of meat, I ordered basically food for about six people. Um, so I got a whole bunch of beef brisket. I have their chuck. I have the pork jowl, which is actually like a cheek, like pork cheek. I've never had pork cheek before. I figured I'd give it a shot. I have, guys, their signature long rib. Just look at the size of this thing. It is absolutely giant. So they sear it and then you cook it on the grill and they actually have a staff that comes and helps you for this one. But yeah, this is like a, it's a friggin' foot long, guys. That's a giant, giant, giant rib, which looks amazing. I love a big beef rib. Um, guys, I got this item to try to start. This is called, this is actually not on their traditional menu. It's like brand new, just coming out, guys with a very cheesy, delicious looking bit. This is the braised beef rib. Yes, braised beef rib. We got peppers, onions, mushrooms in there. It just looks absolutely delicious. Um, but at that, I think we might as well uh, get cooking some of our meat. This is our grill, we do have it on. And then I have, of course, all the side dishes they gave us, a whack of them. We have everything like a cucumber salad. We have uh, fish cake, we have kimchi, we have pickled uh, daigon radish, we got salt and soy. We have a brisket, yes, a brisket, jalapeno and onions, which looks delicious. Um, we got glass noodles. So I'm gonna take maybe a couple pieces of this, uh, first of this chuck. This looks delicious. This is gonna be um, like a little uh, leaner, but give us some of those really good beefy flavors. I'll put a couple pieces of this brisket on, super thin cut. Definitely just get that sizzle just going there, but it looks awesome. And then of course we got like the uh, lettuce and stuff. Gotta make some wraps. I love the wraps, guys. Um, but one thing I will start with, I because it's actually cooked, I mean, this is this only gonna take a second. I mean, already our, I think our brisket, oh, you know what I forgot to do? Rookie mistake, everybody. I forgot to oil the grill up. I got so excited. Anyway, this brisket's almost done. Luckily, it's nice and fatty. This uh, chuck as well will be done in just a moment. Um, but what I am going to do is I want to get started on this freaking braised beef rib, guys. Um, this looks so delicious, so delectable. Like I said, I'm pumped to try this delicious looking dish. Um, I just want to grab a big, like, here's a mushroom. I'm just going to like, just grab this mushroom. Oh my Lord, Jesus. Thank you, God. Thank you for creating beef and restaurants that know how to cook. Oh my Lord. Guys, that is the best chasing mushroom I've ever had in my life. And look at this piece of freaking beef rib, guys. It's like, wow. It like, just looks so tender, so juicy. Let's just, uh, oh, wow. I don't even wanna pick this up. Let's see if I have a bite. Wow. Oh my gosh. Mm sweet oh my gosh that is like butter holy crap guys this is the wow try some of these peppers mm. you mommy that mushroom the bite of the peppers and that beef guys this is uh this is one of the best tasting words cannot describe this may be like Arguably the best tasting like dish I've had in a restaurant in a long time. I think we got some melons in here or something too. Try some of this melon. But yeah, just the way it's soaked in that beef juices. It is smothered in cheese. If you cheese lovers. Mm. 
Oh my god. Stop what you're doing. I don't care where you are. You have to come here and try this dish, everybody. Wow, try with that melon. Nice texture. Oh my god. Those are the most amazing beef rib dishes I've ever had in my life. Hands down. That was a must try. Right now, guys. 100%. Wow. And the thing with that freaking braised beef rib dish, too, is like it's all done. Like it's cooked for you. You don't even like, you don't need to cook anything. You don't need to add anything. It is just, wow, guys. That is like, oh man, salty. Like that is the best. The spices on that are fantastic. I have some peppers. We'll throw some peppers and onions on. Wow. Just wow. I can't get enough. But anyway, I want to try this uh, lovely chuck. I'm going to try this. Um, I was probably just by itself. Mm. Great beefy tasting notes. Now I'm going to try some of these uh, lettuce wraps. Take that chuck. I'm going to put some of that um, large grain salt. I'm going to put some of these pickles and or, uh, jalapenos and onions, which are in the uh, brisket juice. I think that'll be a good addition. Let's give that a bite. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Very good. Really nice richness from that beef juice. The jalapenos and the onions. Such a nice addition. Next we got the brisket. Nice pieces of fat in there. Nice and tender. Not as heavy a beef flavor as the chuck, but really great. Let me put it on this, uh, with some of this salt on a beef, on a lettuce wrap. I'm gonna do the exact same thing. Some of those brisket juices, that jalapeno action. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Wow. Guys, that large grain salt in that oil. Mm, that is my absolute favorite. I'm gonna put some of this beef on. Let's try this pork. I still didn't remember to oil the grill, but nonetheless. And a little more of this delicious chuck. And how about we get started on this big rib? All right, how do I do this rib, my friend? Just throw this rib on? Guys, look at, look at this, look how big that is. That is insane. All right, that's crazy. So you're gonna help me with this? Uh, sure, do you want me to help you with it now, or? Yeah, should I throw it on, or? Yeah, you throw it on, so just put the bone on the bottom. The bone on the bottom like this? Uh, yeah. Like that, maybe? Just throw it like that-ish? I'll oh, move like these over. Cook it on the bone? I'll cook it on the bone like this? Yes. Okay. Maybe it'll stand up. Sweet. Yeah, and then I'll cook it for that for a little bit, and then I'll help you out. Amazing. I'm glad we got some help managing this, guys, because look how big that, that is. That's arguably, like, that is a, that's a foot-long beef rib right there. That's exceptional. So, so, so cool. We have some of this um, onion and dried-on radish uh, kind of salad. Right, Chris? Get some more of this chuck action going here. Take this pork, flip that over too. I, got, I mean, I'll put, throw another brisket on here because why not? I don't know how long this uh, freaking long rib will take, but it is huge. Guys, this is awesome. If you've ever been to Korean barbecue, this is so fun to do with friends. Like, uh, okay, here we go. We got some lettuce, or not lettuce, we got some rib action. So he's holding onto the bone and he is cutting it off the bone. Okay, I dig it. In the meantime, I'm gonna make myself one of these delicious brisket, juice, jalapeno, salt, onion, taco, lettuce wraps. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. God, that is money. Mm. So good. I love that. Okay, you're cutting it, wow. Delicious. That was a great cross section. So we got this amazing bone. Look at the marbling on that meat. That is just exceptionally marbled in there. And you're just letting that kind of cook through. This is just bomb. The quality on this is exceptional. Mm. 
I'll tell you this piece of brisket, I'm just gonna deck this out with some salt. Mm. Oh man, so good. Should I be in pace? So good. So the pork jowl, everybody. Let's try just a straight up pork jowl. Mm. Mm. Okay. So actually really, really great flavor in that. I've never had a pork jowl. And, and, and really the kind of the way I'd put it, I'm gonna put some of that little salt on there. I love, if you guys can't tell, I have a very salt forward palate. I love salt, but. Mm. Thank you. You gotta bring me just some salt. Awesome. Actually, guys, I can't believe I'm saying this. I don't really know what to expect with this pork jowl, but that is amazing. Amazing. So what I love so much about this pork jowl is just the, uh, is the, 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 the straw. It has such a nice, deep, porky flavor. I'm just gonna take a bite of this. Mmm. Mmm. That salt. Woo. Guys, that pork. That's some of the best tasting pork I've ever had. It's actually super marbled and it is super juicy. Wow, I am so impressed. We get with that addition of that salt on there. Wow, just like if that pork is that juicy, the way this freaking rib looks, I think I'm going to die. I'm literally going to be in heaven here in probably about two seconds. I think this uh this rib is probably about ready to be taken off here in just a second. And I'm ready for it, guys. I am I have a feeling like, well, here, I'm gonna try first just a piece of this rib by itself. Man, it looks so fatty, guys. So fatty, so juicy. Just look at that. See that marbling in there? See that fat? Woo! Let me just, let me just try a, a bite by itself. Oh my gosh, wow. Wow, melting your mouth. And there's marinated. A little bit of, like just a nice bit of sweetness in there. That is still very raw, or like rare. I'm gonna put that just on for a second. But wow, guys. I think that is gonna be absolutely perfect. Let's try a piece of this delicious fatty rib, everybody. Just look at that. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Jeez Louise. I'm gonna try it in this salt because that is just going to be delicious. Large grain salt action going on right here. I'm ready guys, I'm ready to go to heaven. Oh my God. Wow. Wow. Guys. That is so, so rich, so moist. So juicy, legit something that is so, so, so flavorful. I am shocked with just like literally how good this is. I gotta, guys, I gotta, I gotta start getting through some of this. I, my, my battery, my camera battery is going to die. But uh, wow, guys, what an experience. Make a little taco, a little bit of that salt. I'm gonna try this one with um, some of the uh, onions and jalapenos from the brisket juice like I had before. Guys. Mm. Mm. Mind blown. Oh my gosh. Everybody. That long rib with that salt. In that lettuce wrap, that crunch. Mm, the richness of that meat. I'm even going back to this pork, everybody. I didn't think this pork would be so good, but I'm thoroughly impressed. Wow, we have so much of this rib to get through. I'm gonna grab a piece of this rib, and let's just, I'm gonna try dipping it in this, uh, in this like soy paste they got going here. Mm. Mm. Wow, great flavor. Then you throw in that kimchi, a little bit of that cucumber salad. It just cuts, the palate is clean. Wow, guys, that rib is fantastic. You know, I actually, really, I really like this, uh, this chuck. I mean, definitely gonna, as much as chuck, and I gotta say that pork, that pork jowl was super impressive. And one thing I like about the chuck too is, don't get me wrong, this rib is, is 
beyond fantastic. Like, it's the best, it's arguably, like, it is just the most savory, succulent meat. But at the same time, it's, all, it's very savory and succulent, like, mm, it's just so fatty. Just melts in your mouth, so rich. Having the addition of the kimchi, the cucumber salad, all those things like really kind of help. Um, I don't know if the word is tone it down, but it allows you to like, your palate not be overloaded. Oh man, those jalapenos in that brisket juice though. Woo! So just grab that chuck, I'm just putting a little bit of that salt on it. Then I'm gonna uh, probably add in again one of those jalapenos, some of this onion in this brisket juice. I think that might like, that is, it's just such a good combo. I mean, like, all the flavors. Talk about a heck of a Korean barbecue experience. Put those onions on, cook them up a little bit. I'm gonna get some more peppers. I really like the peppers. I love bell peppers in general. But wow, that's all I can say. Like I said, let's get this pork. I'm gonna enjoy more of this pork. I'll, uh, I'm gonna get some of this rib too. Guys, it's just so fatty, oh my lord. It is just like, so juicy and rich, guys. It is just like, like wobble, wobble, wobble. Mmm, oh man. And the way that's marinated, perfectly, perfectly flavored. Woo, guys, all right, so 4% left in that battery, going down. But well, let's uh, keep decking into some of this meat. I, like I said, this short rib, long rib, I guess they call it. I call it a short rib, it's called a long rib on the menu. Guys, impressive. Heavy grain salt, look at that. This, this is gonna be a delicious bite. I'm just gonna take it. Mmm, oh, mmm, mmm, mmm. Oh my gosh, guys, everybody. Wow, just wow. I'm gonna be here for a while longer. I got lots and lots of food. But guys, definitely stopping by Soray. I love this place. There we go, now the grill's really kicking. Guys, the flavors are fantastic. The long rib is beyond, like out of this world. These jalapenos and onions and brisket juice. Out of this world. Mm. The kimchi. Delicious. Mm. Woo! And the chuck. The chuck, guys. A cut which is known to be a lot leaner. Some would call it tougher. Not tough at all. Beautiful, deep, rich, beefy notes. And guys, even this pork gel. Like I said, it is bomb. Super rich flavors of that pork. I dropped on the table. With the fattiness, the richness, it's so tender actually, which is pretty impressive because, I mean, it, pigs eat. I think the muscle would not be so tender, but super delicious, guys. Oh, but like I said, don't sleep. Don't sleep. Mm. Wow, good pork. Don't sleep in that braised uh, short rib I had earlier, guys. It was braised beef rib. The braised beef rib, that was one of the best restaurant dishes I've ever had, at least like in forever. I loved it. Like I said, guys, don't sleep on this place. If you're ever in Santa Clara, San Jose area, stop on by, enjoy yourself and experience. Guys, this was 10 out of 10, phenomenal. I love this place. This is, I am just, I'm just blown away. So yeah, like I said, huge thanks to the staff. They've been super accommodating, super friendly. And uh, at that, I wish I had more battery life to share with you, but it's literally gonna die here any second. It's flashing red. So that one, until next time, say happy, the hungry, happy eating. I appreciate you. They have uh, lots of cool cocktails here as well, guys, but come on by, try this long rib, try the, uh, the chuck, and try, try that freaking braised beef rib dish. That was amazing. So at that, everybody, I love you. I just love you guys, so. I'm just gonna let you watch me eat until the battery officially dies. And when it turns off, it turns off, but exceptional, everybody. Exceptional. Same as those jalapeno.
and onion in the brisket juices. Thank you. You got me some more, uh, can I get some more salt too? You got me some more of uh, these delicious jalapeno and onions in the brisket juice. Oh my Lord. Mm. Guys, that is awesome. My issue is I get distracted by the food. I'm just like, Ooh, let's try that. This bit of the uh, short rib or the long rib, whatever it is, the rib has a little bit of char in it because I left it cooking for quite a while. But I bet that is going to be really, really, really good. Woo! Thank you. I'm going to try just in that salt. You grab that grain salt, throw that right on. Mmm. Mmm. So fatty. So even if it's cooked probably longer than it should have been, it just carries that juice, that umami, that mouthful. Mm. Guys. So, so, so good. Woo, that is a strong flavored onion. But everybody, like I said, this has been an awesome experience. Oh my gosh. I'm just like, I can't get enough, guys. Look, this is a little lettuce triangle. Eat your greens, kids. Thank you. Just awesome. I'm surprised this battery's lasted this long. It's on red. Turns out it goes on red longer than I thought. Well, we're back, maybe. Maybe you're gonna join me a little longer. <clears throat> Guys, so that, uh, oh yeah. We got more of these uh, jalapenos and onions and brisket juice. Thank you. Guys, that bite gives you salty, savory, spicy, acidic, amazing. Whew. A lot of food though, guys. No shortage of food. Hey, guess what? You rock, yes, you rock. Thank you so much for watching the video. I totally appreciate it. I hope you left me a comment down below. I'd love to read them. I hope you also liked that video. Hey, by the way, click my face. You can subscribe, yes, subscribe. That way you always get my uploads. You won't miss me when I'm in your town. And I also picked two videos for you. Yes, two videos I know you'll love right here. So watch one of those, hit my face. And at that, thank you so much, you rock.